So here recently, Drill America asked if I'd be willing to review another set for them. So they sent out this eight piece carbide tipped hole cutter set for me to try out. Now full transparency, I've never actually got to play with the kit that's even remotely similar to this. So I was eager to dive in and kind of learn how this kit operated and then wanted to see what kind of projects I might be able to use this on. So with that being said, I spent about an hour kind of drilling a bunch of holes just in various metals I had laying around the shop to get an idea of how this thing functions. And that way I could kind of have some do's and don'ts or maybe some tips and tricks that I learned so far before you made an investment in a kit like this. Now I pretty much consider myself to be in the DIY or weekend warrior category and it seems like I've always got something I'm needing to drill a hole in and the biggest drill bit that my shop has to offer me right now is a half inch in size. So typically if I need a hole any bigger than that I'm usually driving my die grinder or something like that to try to widen out that hole. That's where this kit comes in really handy. So the smallest cutter that's in this kit is a 5 8 inch bit and it goes up to a 2 inch in size like you see here. So you can really see where this would come into play especially if you need to get a bigger hole drilled and all you have is one of those standard traditional drill bit kits that has that half inch size in it. Now these have a half inch shank on them like you see here. What's really neat is each one of these bits has its own pilot bit with a built-in spring as well. And that spring is really handy and I'll explain that in just a second as well. As you can see, as you step up into these larger bits like you see here, it's got a much heavier duty spring. Now let's start and talk about that spring for a second. So basically when you're drilling a hole with these things, that spring is going to act as an auto eject for your plug. So if you've got your plug, like you see here, this is one of the pieces that I drilled out of a quarter inch piece of metal I had. But essentially when that goes on there like so, once you get to the other side of the metal here, it's going to help eject that little plug out. That way it doesn't get stuck inside your bit here where you're trying to dig that thing out of there once you're done. Like a lot of your hole saw bits would do if you're drilling wood, for example. So I thought that was really cool. Now, as I mentioned, I think I drilled right around 10 holes and I tried a couple different metals that I had laying around. I didn't have a huge variety of different metals to go through at the moment, but I did have a couple things. And this is the thickest plate that I had laying around, which is a quarter inch piece of steel here. And it did a really good job, you can see. So there's one of the holes I did right there. There's another little small hole I did right there. And I'll throw shots of those on the screen right now while I'm talking to give you an idea of what these bits look like while they're actually in action. But the nice thing about these is you don't have to have a mag drill like you would on like an annular set. So you can easily just grab like a drill like you see here and it'll run this kit just fine. So, so keep in mind, the thicker the metal you're drilling through, the longer it's gonna take you. In fact, when I was doing this quarter inch piece like you see here, it probably took me a good two minutes just to get through that piece of steel there with that size hole there. And the smaller one was not much different, to be honest. When I went into this piece of metal here, obviously it's a lot thinner and I was able to get that hole put through there a lot quicker. So just something to keep in mind, depending on what type of metal you're trying to drill through, is gonna be how long it takes you to get the results you're looking for. Now this kit's also gonna be capable of doing aluminum, copper, uh, stainless steel, you name it. The one thing about stainless steel and what they, the way they actually advertise this in their listing is that any bit that's in this kit is gonna be able to do up to 300 holes in stainless steel. I think that's pretty cool because stainless steel can be pretty rough on bits. So the fact that this can do roughly 300 holes before you'd have to consider replacing that bit, I think that's pretty awesome actually. Now, as I mentioned, this is an eight-piece kit. It does have a couple extra pilot bits. So when one of your bits starts to dole out, you do have a couple extras of those as well. You've also got a couple Allen wrenches in this kit. So that's pretty handy. Everything's kind of pretty much right here in this kit, ready to go without having to go to your toolbox and grab any extra tools or things of that nature. Now, as I mentioned, this is the eight piece kit. You can absolutely pick up any of these drill bits individually. So if you're only needing one size or if you want to kind of pick and choose, what's nice about Drill America is they've made that available to you. Now, something else to keep in mind is, as I mentioned, this kit goes up to two inches in size. But if you look on their website, the biggest bit that I saw was a four and 11 16 inch hole cutter. That's huge. I don't know that I'd ever use that on, but that's absolutely an option if you decide you wanted to go that route. So take a look at that and see if there's sizes that might fit your need, especially if you're doing repeated cuts, that might be an option if this kit doesn't have it available for you. Now, what I liked about this kit was the fact that it kind of had a lot of your main sizes if you're going to be drilling holes for bolts or things of that nature. This gives you a good array, but it's also a pretty big investment too. So that I understand, and that's also why I like the fact that you can pick them up individually. Now, you'll also notice on their listing as well that you can pick these up in two different depths of cut. So this one here and everything in this kit is a one inch depth of cut. They've also got them where it's a three sixteenths inch depth of cut as well. So if you want to save yourself a little bit of money and you don't need to drill as deep of a hole, you can check out that line of bits and see if there's something that fits your need in that category. Now I will say just from drilling the holes that I drilled and the quarter inch piece of steel here, while it does say a one inch depth of cut, I honestly don't know how long that would take, but I feel like that would take a really long time. So in my personal opinion, while it probably is capable of doing so, I'm gonna say probably three eighths to half inch is the most I would probably consider using this on, especially with anything like this. If you got a little bit larger drill, that might be an option for you to go a little bit deeper. The other thing to keep in mind too, I couldn't find my T handle for my drill. So 
that's something that you're probably definitely going to want because this thing is going to probably snag on you from time to time when you're drilling. Now, I didn't have that happen to me when I was doing any of my holes that I was drilling. Just keep in mind, having a T-handle on this drill is going to help greatly in fatigue and trying to keep that drill steady. I did try using this in my drill press as well. I didn't have a lot of luck there. I don't think my drill press quite had the power to be able to handle these bits. So if you've got a little bit nicer drill press than what I've got, that might be an option for you as well. It's definitely gonna give you a more precise hole if you're able to go that route. Versus any kind of portable drill like this, it's gonna wall around you a little bit while you're drilling your hole. But either way, this is still an excellent kit to be able to drill a hole that's a lot bigger in size than what your half inch bits are gonna get you when you're drilling with just a traditional set. And honestly, I'm really impressed with the quality of this kit. I think Drill America does a really good job anyways. I've tried out a few of their other kits in the past and everything that they've sent me so far has been just top notch and superb quality. If you're looking for a good set that's gonna be able to drill a little bit larger size holes for some of your projects at home, check out this carbide tipped cutter set. As long as you keep these things on low speed, put a little bit of oil on them, these things will last you quite a while before you gotta worry about replacing these. They're really built to last. Other than that, I think that's all I got for you on this one though. Appreciate you watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.